Good evening, my name is TF2 Public Ferret, and here I am in TF2 Tightrope.com Project Beta UK. Um, you know, I don't think I said stand rules, I think you guys are all here for that reason. Now, in any case, thank you very much for turning up. Uh, I was going about the weapons change, and one in particular may interest the medics in you. Uh, okay, the Blood Saga, now it does on wear of people, it increases medics' max health. The only cost is now that uh, it does 50 percent less med uh, melee damage. So actually, in a strange way, if you're not a melee pla if you're not a melee wielding medic, that's great because that means you just have more health to survive. So if you're playing the um, it's the uh, it's the blood saga, it's the Vita saw. Uh, that's what it's new called the blood saga now. So if you're the kind of medic that likes to play a very safe game, you might want to pick that. Now, anyway, today we're back in steel. This is the uh, first map we started on with uh, the rotation, I think. So. Okay, nice to be back, and let's have a look at the teams, what's going on here. Well, blue team, looking a little admin -y, but it might work, and red team's also looking very admin -y. So, both teams so far not really overly enthusiastic at pushing for the moment. But this is steel, anything can happen. This is always a fun treat for those who watch it. At the moment, oh, there goes Cyramor there. GBK stabs him in the stabs him in the back. Such a time backstab. And you know, Blue is considering moving up on A. Now, what you need to remember here is, uh, back in March, I think it was actually in the, the nutshell video. If you play Bonk Scout, go to point E, hide behind the little barrier on the rims. What you can actually do is, is complete. Oh, 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 there we go. And oh, who is it? Oh, is it Peace again? Um, the same trick as he pulled last time. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sniper denied. Okay, fast those in with that. Oh, man. They're going to have to keep an eye out on that last point now because, you know, blue scouts are trying for it. Now, that's going to panic red team. They've got to make sure their guy at the back end can really hold that. Because what happens is, if that starts going at th halfway, three quarters, red team's going to be tempted to pull back a bit. They might think, oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, they got back end. Do I need to do something? Now, the other thing I blew my to consider here is more medically. Uh, the thing is, you can't just try and take a, you know, take a point and just hope for the best. Now, there he goes. There he goes, sir. I think I was a... Oh, Dark Demon TJ. I mean, nice, valiant effort there. But part of the problem was... Okay, it's looking good. Blue's finally moving up. Nice, gets his, gets his food down his hole. And there he goes. I would love to see the medics really take to the Blood Saga, though, because I think it's going to be a lovely, lovely weapon if you want to survive for a long time. Because I know there's some of you there that love going uh, Vitasaur. The problem is with Medic, actually, in terms of the loadout. Uh, the Vita Saw is the only weapon in town. It really is. You, you don't really take any other medic weapon. Uh, the Amputator is kind of fun in medieval or a bunched up mode. The standard one is okay. But the sheer benefits of the Uber Saw is just amazingly good. And you know, the current Vita Saw is awful. Okay, it, it's like you get saved 20% of your Uber. It can really help you for a massively new player. But it's got no real benefits, but there's new one though. Increasing your max health. Now that's different. That makes medics much more survivable, and medics like to survive. So if you don't like rushing into situation, you want to be a safe medic, this is the way to go for. You now look at the blue team here. Nicely capping this. Can they do it? I think they can, and looks like something straight on B as well. What's going on B? Well, I think there was a scuffle between a pyro and a soldier. Uh, another pyro did. Now remember, uh, the point from A to E opens, so you can go through A, go around E and approach B from behind. It's always fun to be had approaching people from their anus. Alert. Our control point is being captured. Now this is the problem here, I mean, but look at Bad, he's like, okay, what do I need to do? I might need to save point B here. And now the point is safe, but he feels like he needs to turn up. This is where, this is what I based the first tourney in Steel. It's a lovely, lovely game of doubt. 
I mean, people say it's horrible because you get lost. I mean, no, it's horrible because you don't know what you You need a good team to play this. This is a horrible, horrible map if you have a NAF team because you've got to hope they can do something properly. And if they can't, like, can't hold a point or can't move up properly somewhere, it's, it's a nightmare. Well, it looks like there's immediate call for Scar to build a sentry. To be fair, I did actually watch over that Deadwood video, and the poor guy, he didn't stand a chance. Now, does Red, does red know where uh, point C is? Uh, looks like Blue does, which is, you know, to be fair, how many veterans are we? I think we've got Forky, Chuck Steak. Uh, I think Sir Moore is a veteran. Daddy Chasm, definitely. I think he was hitting most matches as a substitute. Uh, Miasmic. Uh, Dark Demon, I think, was there before. Rab maybe Rabbit Collie? I don't know. Cami Doc was. Bad was. Uh, I think Ape Cop was. And Fasto was. Uh, not sure about Fasto, actually. I think he might be their sub. But a lot of you turned up for the last Steel Tawny, and, you know. So, the guys play. The sound of play we're going to see today is going to be amazing. Compared to, you know, last week, you know, the uh, Eclipse game, where nobody knew where the hell they were going. This is going to be the exact opposite. You know, a lot of guys know exactly where to go, and a few people who are going to be very confused. Now, right now, Point C is looking quite purdy. I mean, Red Team's feeling comfortable. Their uh, team's kind of getting on with the business. Well, uh, where the hell is Scar? I think he may be stuck in spawn. Yep, he's AFK. That dull, vacant expression. Well, that's ain't good. You need an engineer for this, ideally. There goes Dark Demon. Now, who, who are you in the third degree now? Uh, are they giving the third degree a go for more damage and less movement? Unlucky there. Sharpened Volcano Fragment is good, but, you know, let's see what it's like with the third degree, because you get extra damage. Remember, more damage is good. Now, that's the weird thing, actually. Um, actually, the backbone, that's going to be real fun, although you're going to be very slow, though. Now, in any case, this is what's going on here. Well, Chuck State, I think, is trying to retrieve his crown as King Heavy. To be fair, a lot of our King Heavies aren't around today. No, I can't think of the provision of fanning today, so, you know, that, that kind of thing happens. Um, but, you know, in so far, Blue Team's trying its best, but they've got quite a bit of fraction, friction in the team here. A lot of the low end guys are a bit low, and the high end guys are a couple of. Red Team, on the other hand, they've got quite a few guys who know what they're doing. A few guys that maybe are trying stuff here and there. Um, Yes, the score is quite disrupted at the moment. Oh, wow! Brand Mulvick there pretty much straight up killed Porky in the face. Uh, I thought he was going to take him down there, but... You know, trying to kill a Flodge Pirate is quite difficult when they're mid-flodging. Now, what do Blue Team need to do here to get this point? Well, first off, they need an Engineer, I think. Part of the problem is they're spending too much time moving up. Uh, they need to get the point C quicker and do stuff from there. Uh, the other thing that they need to do is perhaps attack with Ubers, which would be helpful. Um, and thirdly, maybe approaching it from behind by via point D. Oh no, he put the TP the wrong way round. Oh. That's bound to cut. Robin, don't do that, man. That's the thing, griefing really isn't that funny. I know, the thing is, it is kind of okay when it's a bit more thingy, but that kind of stuff is just lol, I'm just going to be a complete train wreck, and it's not really that great. I take I take you've seen the new uh, m uh, phlogistonator stats, uh, Mazmic. I mean, it's not that bad. It do, I mean, most of the time it's outside of uh, flogging, so you're fine, really. Y 
Yeah, that's if he's crit stuck. If he's crit stuck. Oh wow, Dark Demon TJ could really murder there by two sentry. I mean, Red have actually got their mo got their game on right now. Although, saying that, the problem here is for Blue. They, they're trying to cap point E, but they've got no real. Red have actually got all the defenses in online in the, in the right place. They've got enough engineering. Um, part of the problem is they got all the bridge up, so they can't really afford to move in. They have to take point C, and yeah, we're just not seeing them. Uh, the blue team is kind of neglecting point C a lot, and to be fair, the team look very, very stacked. Uh, red team is having a very nice game at the moment. Um, I think their team knows exactly what to do. This is not looking good here. Yeah, Robin man, please, can you like not do that? Is to do an exploit? Okay, I don't know how to, but um Any case, one minute twenty six. There's no progress on point C for the moment. Hey Deebs. I have no clue what's going on here, but at the moment though, you only got a minute to do, to do something in. Right now, blue team is just getting nowhere near point C. There's not, there's not enough admin. Nobody's really, really coordinated. Yep, no, I don't think Robin is going to work because nobody's actually wanting to play that seriously. Now, okay, 15 seconds left on the clock. Blue team is nowhere near point C. It's not look, it doesn't look good at all. Yet, yeah, Robin, I, s I would severely suggest you actually please play the game properly because your teammates are not liking what you're doing. And, okay, next round, right? 